for the challenges. Firstly, we can say that Czech politicians and policymakers have got convinced that science plays a crucial role in addressing global challenges. However, they understand it in terms of technological determinism, meaning the science is a tool to solve them. But they still often neglect that science has also been part of the challenge and thus it shall communicate and discuss more and earlier with stakeholders and wider public the possible scientific solutions to global societal challenges. Secondly, scientists are also still not very much in favor of the idea that all stakeholders as well as the wider public shall be involved in the scientific solutions. The third challenge might be that the TA activities st still remain problem oriented in Czechia, that means implemented through a project or a separate study instead of having an institutionalized ongoing strategic process within techno technology implementation or diffusion. As for the opportunities, we can say that firstly also in the Czech Republic, science and in its communication becomes a more and more important part of the policy strategies and solutions related to global or European as well as national societal economic and environmental challenges. These are uh, climate change or circular economy, aging population, sustainable development, etc. Secondly, the Czech politicians are slowly getting used to the fact that participatory TA processes and public engagement uh, are becoming a more significant part of the science-based policy advice as the TA processes and activities offer an effective tool to deal with complex issues related to implementation of new technologies and their impact on society. In hand with that, that the public administration keeps improving their demand for TA as well as science-based policy advice in general. Thirdly, the Czech society becomes more and more open to share ideas, opinions, needs, and wishes. It's basically a generation change after the Velvet Revolution in 1989. This makes the public engagement and technology assessment uh, easier and smoother in reaching its aims. What has changed in providing policy advice and doing TA in the last five years? Nationally, uh, the TA activities and outputs are more and more implemented in a concrete decision-making process during the last decade. Study on uh, artificial intelligence and its impact on labor market, business strategies that have been changed on a basis of rec recommendations from a national project on TA, related to food waste reduction and catering, or telemedicine more used uh, as a publicly supported tool for solving uh, the aging society problem, or societal wishes and needs formulated during the European public debate reflected uh, in the Horizon 2020 program supporting international cooperation in research and innovation. Generally, in our country, on the local level, uh, the public debate has increased, or we can say public deliberation, on respective topics of local interest, including the implementation of new technologies. On the national level, there are more evidence-based studies supporting responsible policy solutions and more participatory ev events and outputs from stakeholders and wider public are visible. In, and the COVID-19 pandemic has also made the online and hybrid formats of these events more commonly used. Intersectoral cooperation has improved as well. Academicians, policymakers, NGOs, media, and businesses are more cooperating on solving policy issues, include ethical dilemmas and technological change issues, such as, for example, more effective online tools, which uh, the COVID-19 pandemic speeded up, versus cybersecurity and data protection. Institutionally, we have two news. Technology Center has implemented uh, a national midterm project from 2021 uh, till 2024, 
uh, which is called Stratton Plus, uh, Strategic Intelligence for Research and Innovation Policy, where one of the modules is focused uh, primarily on science, technology, and society, meaning focused on technology assessment approaches and RRI to support evidence-based and responsible decision-making of the state administration. The main customers are the Ministry of Education and Ministry of Industry and Trade, which are which are the basic institutions in Czechia that are responsible for research and development and innovation. Technology Center uh, in early spring has also submitted a national project proposal, which is called uh, National Competence Center Technology for Society. Uh, within the technology agency of the Czech Republic program, Centers of Competence. And this project aims at institutionalizing TA uh, in the Czech Republic and the systematic use of TA studies. So let's say inputs to knowledge-based policy debates on emerging technologies. It plans also to use interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary approaches and emphasizes complexity in the assessment of interaction among technology and society. When it comes to the future of science communication for policy and policy decision makers, we can say that uh, now a new uh, national smart specialization strategy and also new national research and development priorities are being formulated, reacting on missions. The process plans to include technology assessment and foresight processes and methods to deal with different stakeholders' positions, which is a good news. Science communication and its important role uh, in sharing the scientific knowledge and discuss the societal discourses, post-pandemic and economic crisis, energy crisis, etc. Science communication and TA activities studying impact on technologies and society can help to create the trust and fill the gap between research and businesses, as well as the lack of systematic interdisciplinary overviews of research areas and practical orientation in research. Future means also a more intensive uh, use of social media in science, technology, and innovation, as well as in the policymaking, including the challenge of loss in shortcuts. Mm -hmm.